Some time ago, I had an idea to add new feature to my game, random events. For example, fire in the building. Each building would have a random chance of catching fire, depending on how far it is from the nearest fire station. My idea to implement it was that if fire is triggered, building would search for the nearest fire station to spawn a fire truck. It would then arrive on the scene and put up the fire. At that time, I thought the main systems of my game are pretty much ready for such simple feature and it would take me around a week to add it to the game. Spoiler alert, it took 3 months. This devlog is about how adding one seemingly small thing to the game made me rework whole AI system. Welcome to Small Town Life, a city builder game simulating creating a big city from small community where each decision of the player impacts moods and lives of the residents. I am building this game using Rust and Bevy engine. First thing I needed was fire. I haven't found any ready fire shaders for Bevy, so I thought, maybe it's time to finally study this famous book of shaders that I have on my to-do list for many years. I contemplated this for a while and quickly moved on to the shader toy, where I found an example of exactly what I needed instead. The book will have to wait. The shader toy example is written in different shading language than the one Bevy uses, both of which I know very little about. So in order to make it work, I put on my caveman clothes, I picked up my caveman club, and kept smashing the code till it finally worked. And that's the result. Not exactly low poly like the rest of the assets, but at least the fire looks like a fire. For the water spray effect, I use brilliant Bevy Hanabi crate, which provides particle effects for Bevy. What I didn't know at that point, that it was the easy part. As it turned out, both my jobs and navigation system needed to be reworked in order for the whole fire track sequence to work properly. My game was good at spawning and sending the cars from the start point to the end point, but the system turned out to not be flexible enough to handle spawning the car by the end point and driving it all the way to the target. On top of it, the car should know when to perform an action and then when to move back and where. It was simply not possible, or rather, trying to add it into existing solution would end up with a lot of spaghetti code. So I sat down and designed the whole job system from scratch. Think of my job system as an AI for the entities in the game. Job is a set of tasks. I have two major categories of jobs. Presets, that always perform the same action at the same time. For example, driving cars from home to work every morning. And dynamic jobs, where the start and target are parameterized for example, the fire event will trigger itself with the location and entity. My previous solution could only handle the presets, and they were just not enough to create the fire truck sequence. Every job has a schedule and a list of tasks. Sometimes I'm adding optional tasks to perform if one of the tasks failed or even the whole job failed to start. Most important part is the task component. This gets assigned directly to the car entity and this entity is supposed to perform the tasks one after another. My previous solution was a resource that would hold on the current tasks for each entity in the game, and it was a major pain to maintain. The task can be anything, from spawning entity, to moving, hiding, waiting, assigning components or sending events. I hope this system will be robust enough to be used for anything in the remainder of the game. After each task is finished, the next task method is called, which, as you can guess, starts the next task. I also added the ability to perform a task in the loop, which works well for the trains and buses, allowing them to go from station to station till they reach all of them. Here is the definition of fire truck job that takes location and entity as arguments and creates a job with set of tasks that will be passed to the fire truck entity. This job will be triggered by the fire event. At first, the building that caught fire will find the nearest fire station and spawn fire truck there. Then fire truck will answer the call so the search will stop. There is one second delay as it was easier to debug and make sense of what's going on. Then the fire truck will move to the target building. Another wait, which might be frustrating for the poor victims of the fire, and then the water spray action is triggered. After action is finished, the fire truck will come back to the station and the spawn itself. Other example jobs are taxis that simply move from random location to the next in the infinite loop.
And this is preset car to work job that sends cars from home buildings to work buildings at fixed current schedule. Thanks to improved AI system, I am now able to send record events, which helps me track more statistics of the city. I can lock the moment person starts and ends its commute and work and summarize them. Getting work time also allows me to calculate the income of the residents and therefore the tax income of the city. The latter finally allowed me to introduce the first real gameplay loop of spending and earning money by the government. In the same time, I improved some other parts of the commute system. Previously, everyone was using only cars or only public transport, but now the residents can have a preferred mode of transport. Each building stores the distribution of residents' preferences. By default, 50% of people will choose public transport to go to work, 10% will always take taxi, and some will always insist on walking or driving, no matter what. Apart from that, I fixed some train bugs, I introduced new train bugs, added cuboids that represent people, and added some tools for navigation. Last but not least, I received my first ever gift from someone on Discord. Vance composed a song only for this game. Thank you very much, Vance. You can find his other work on SoundCloud, link in the description. I don't have any good ending for the video, so just enjoy the song. It's really good. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.